This is Amrita Varma for the Wall TV, and I'm at the Palette Art Gallery with uh, the Artist Collective Blot. Um, Avinash is one of the members of Blot. Uh, Avinash, what is Blot all about? Well, Blot uh, it stands for the Basic Love of Things, and uh, it's a collective we started about five years back. Uh, it mainly started with uh, electronic music and video back then, and VJing live performance with the music and video. And through the years, it's kind of collected a lot more arms, and it's become a lot about digital art and uh, uh, motion graphics and uh, installations, uh, and you know a lot of collaborative projects with a bunch of people whom we meet all the time in Delhi and abroad. So it's kind of become like a mixed bag of things in the last five years, and we try and do a whole bunch of things around the arts and around, especially around contemporary, new age, urban expression. I guess like. That kind of thing. How do you visualize these things? I mean, do they? Um, well, a lot of it. I mean, a lot of our stuff actually comes on the back of having to perform with it. Mm -hmm. So we often are called in to do installations. We're often called in to do performances, and those spaces have their own constraints. You know, so it's kind of like making a site-specific installation yes. everywhere you go, and then from those ideas come like the other ideas for. So you're kind of always forced into visualizing something interesting for a club, maybe sometimes, or for a. Mm -hmm for a, I don't know, for a experimental performance and things like that. So it just, and also, also the digital art actually, everything here actually started because we started doing flyers for Blot when we used to play in clubs. Okay. And we used to do our own flyers and over time that just became a habit of like making interesting visual ideas and kind of ideas which are kind of young and kind of work yeah, it's with. It's like the creative spill, right? Yeah, it's just like in a way, I mean, really Blot is not about, I mean, it's never started as a high end kind of art kind of thing. It's very street and it's very normal, you know, it's just about following up on what you like and trying to like do that as, as well as you can and having fun with it. So, yeah. So it's a collective about, uh, it started as two people, which is Gaurav and me. Gaurav does the music and he's a DJ. And I started doing the films and the live video. And now there's about six people and it's a mixed bag of people. Somebody's coming from a processing, like interaction, technology kind of background. One girl's coming from industrial design, but does uh, background, but does make films now. One guy's half part-time fashion designer and part-time chef at a restaurant. So, so it's a mix of things and, like, and it's a very everyday kind of spirit. It's not, like I said, a very <laughs> super high profile art kind of collective. It's yeah. just about having fun more than anything else. And uh, the Indian, Indian Design Forum, yeah. IDF, yeah. Um, uh, you think uh, it, it really helps uh, what's happening around in the you know, design uh, area? Yeah, completely. I mean, uh, you know, the kind of people they're bringing down uh, to speak are extremely celebrated kind of people from the design community and art community. And I know there are a lot of young people who are practicing have been looking at these people, maybe in books and websites and, you know, heard about them. So I think it's, it's getting everyone, I know that's getting, it would get a lot of young people really excited about having to see them in flesh and blood and maybe have the chance to talk to them and hear them speak. I think it could change like a lot of people's kind of impressions of how they go about their work and because I'm also a designer. I mean in my background I'm, I'm, I'm a product designer myself so a lot of the people that are coming for idea for like Kareem Rashid when I was younger in design school Kareem Rashid would have been you know it was really inspiring to see his work so it's cool to see that he's actually in India right now. <laughs> so that's yeah. kind of like a, it's cool. Like I think it's really yeah, think nice and they're doing a good job. Exciting times for designer. Yeah, exactly, exactly, completely, completely. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty excited. I mean, we're doing also a, one of the, uh, the like a motion graphic story for the conference. So I'll be there at the conference. So I'm quite excited about seeing the, the talks and everything. Best of luck on that. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. <laughs> so these are actually a set of six small artworks. Uh, they kind of came up because we like we do a lot of. I'm also a researcher, so I do, we do a lot of work in villages and towns sometimes. So we're always shooting pictures, and part of the idea here was to do a photo montage of found images. So some of this stuff is from a circus. Like all these are actually from a from from a sun, from a circus we went to in Hyderabad, and okay. the idea was to like take some of the uh, paintings and then recompose, re recompose them as, as kind of, I mean the idea was to do bespoke wallpaper right. more than anything. So I was trying to come up with in interesting and this was like from a sex clinic which is quite uh, funny in any case. And it's also really cute and like innocent so I like this kind of thing. But so the other part of our work is extremely digital so with this kind of sharp contrast but I mean Blot is also trying to do like different aesthetics, we don't have any style, we don't, we're not trying to have like a certain type of expression whatever we like at any point in time. Right now we're really into like 3D digital worlds and um, so this was one of the interpretations of that and we've been working with the performance on, we just finished a dance performance with 
my mother who's a dancer okay. and the theme was on flight and flying aircraft so off late the whole all these were actually made in the last 4 uh, 5 weeks okay. so the ideas of around flights so a lot of stuff is around you know there being the you know all this planetary kind of thing is going on and then also here there's lots of like flying yeah. these two are actually two posters from the the artwork comes from posters like I was telling you for some event we did so these are for these two film festivals we run and these are film festivals on visual music okay. called imits so that's from the first year that's from the second year okay. but again this theme of insects and flying objects and kind of digital worlds and color and these two were kind of were inspired by my time and we went to florence last year okay. and we spent a lot of time in the museums and i was really amazingly inspired by the like, the frescoes in uh, in Florence and you know so I'm, in my mind I've been trying to like recreate this idea so I I mean this is a part of a bigger project I'm trying to do which is to build really large scale frescoes yeah. for the ceiling and maybe do an exhibition which is uh, only for the ceiling okay. so this is kind of actually to be seen up basically oh, right. that's kind of when it starts yeah, okay. making sense <laughs> you know the stip renaissance yeah, kind of where you see that <laughs> and it goes up into the heaven and there's all these things going so I mean and also I'm trying to learn I and mean, this was This actually we made. We were just having this joke about Valentine's Day, and okay. we were in Goa, and my friend had this. She saw this cut part of a lettuce oh. on the beach, and she said, "Wow, it's so beautiful! It was just a piece of salad, you know." <laughs> so then it was this joke. So, the, so this thing called divine lettuce. So it starts with the lettuce kind of idea, and then oh. becomes like a cosmic kind of beautiful <laughs> Valentine's Day, <laughs> twisted Valentine's Day cut. So, so that's a brief introduction to this. Here we have some film. I mean, this is an installation, like a video installation that we're trying to like. So we're trying to we figured out an installation so this can go into like people's homes maybe or corridors and things like that and can be reconfigured in terms of spacing and even length. Okay. So the idea is to be I mean we work a lot with this kind of mesh in our performances right. and it's actually we have to keep it a little high but when you see it from eye level it's quite nice and you know yeah. it's it's very hypnotic when you yeah. and if it's, if it's a little darker it really works well. And here this room is just about uh, there are some some films we've done. um yeah uh, this is like a film on us and i mean so this room is kind of like talking about us and who we are and all these projects on the side are these are different collaborative projects we've done with our friends mm -hmm. in the last 2 3 years and uh, that kind of explains that and these are just some films like this one something we worked with my mom who's a dancer okay. and we've been working with a technology that uh, reads the body movements and converts that into video okay. and you can so that's one of the projects we do so this is kind of about some of the projects we're doing yeah. and that's a movie my friend made one of the partners on using code and processing